What's up guys? So I am back to work after a not so relaxing vacation to California getting my eyes gouged out but uh, we're gonna do a lot of videos on that surgery and everything. I mean, I'm not gonna wear sunglasses and stuff but like it's not healed yet. It's only been like 10 days since the surgery so it looks weird. I haven't cleaned it uh, but uh, that, that's the explanation on that front. Good news is nothing too crazy went wrong while I was missing. Uh, my uh, employees have done a great job uh, of kind of keeping things moving on the meat business. So you guys shouldn't have really noticed anything, but that does mean I have a little bit to catch up on with you guys and talk about. First things first, I put a, an automated email response saying like, oh, Frankie's going to be away for about a week, so please be patient with the emails. The people that harass my business, place fake orders, file chargebacks, took that as an opportunity thinking I wasn't checking my emails and orders to just try to place a bunch of fake orders and do chargebacks and cause me a bunch of mayhem. So there are probably between 10 and 20 orders where people intentionally placed an order with the wrong address and then emailed me the next day saying, oh, I used the wrong address. Can you please? This is a, one of the tactics they use. Um, they also do other stuff, but that's a big one. They intentionally place an order with the wrong address and then they say, oh, I changed it. If you ship it there, I can't get it. You're going to have to refund it. Even if that happens with any other company, if you put in your wrong address when you place an order, they're not going to refund you. Uh, but the banks and the chargebacks, that might be a whole different story. I just, I've just had enough of this. So uh, there's a few uh, refund policies that we put on the FAQ page that I will just be referring people to if they try to pull any nonsense like that moving forward. Uh, that being said, we have an order minimum, guys, of $100, and then for the West Coast, it's $130. So if you place an order less than that amount, it will just be canceled. The order is going to be canceled. And also, if like you place an order with eggs and meat or eggs and dairy, when it says that eggs must be ordered separately, we're going to send you the eggs and refund the difference. So... Uh, just keep those few things in mind when you guys are placing orders. Let me check my let me check my notes. Oh, apparently some of the pet food we made was bad, which to me is crazy because that beef was slaughtered like two days before we froze the pet food. So there must have just been I don't know a high bacterial count in the organs. Either that or since since the bags of pet food were so large, they're like three pounds. I told the guy we're gonna do it differently next time. Maybe they didn't get cold fast enough in the fridge. So. We issued everyone a refund that ordered the pet food. Anyone that emailed us got a refund. We took it off most orders last week and just gave you guys your money back. So if you guys got the beef pet food and it was not good, please just email us for a refund. And I'm going to make sure next time that uh, he puts them in the smaller bags. We get them really cold really fast. And then it's just fresh. We've never had any issues like that with any of the meat we've really sold. Uh, from the Amish farmers. So, I mean, it's, it's super fresh meat. The meat's so fresh, it lasts for a month in the fridge. The meat is fresh for one month in the fridge. So, to me, how could it possibly, um, I, don't, I don't I don't really know what happened. Point is, we'll give you guys a refund and, and the next batch we get is going to be 100% uh, smaller and, uh, and we'll make sure it's as, as cold as possible the entire time. But no, that, that was really, really strange. So, We'll take a quick look around. I have a lot of reviews to read. I think I got like 20 reviews to read for you guys, but I don't want to just stand here and, and, and talk to you guys for 10 minutes with bruises on my face. So uh, uh, a few big things. I don't think I'm gonna remember all of them. Uh, one is that we will do a buy one, get one free with the turkeys instead of a giveaway. I think that will give people an opportunity who actually like turkey and actually eat turkey to uh, get a really, really good deal and a good price. So it's going to be like you pay $120 for a giant turkey, you get another whole turkey for free. You got the one on the 20, 20 pieces of eight, eight ounce, you put no power more. Like yeah, just give him uh, the ten? nine ounce or whatever. Or ten, what did I, only 10, 10, 12? Yeah, it's fine. Just give him, uh, it's fine. You can give him that. Let's see. I am a generous guy. <laughs> Back into the <laughs> dungeon, aka order filling room. So I'll show you guys a few new things we got over here, because I'm going to forget. So 
the new shipment of the artisanal products came in. So we have, like, that's the, the fig jam is back. We got plenty of the artichoke spread. We were out of that for a while. And the big thing is we now have the pemmican back in the two ounce bar. So we have the blueberry honey, two ounce bars, plain pemmican, two ounce bars. So it's a lot more affordable for you guys than like the, these big bricks we have. And then moving forward, we're also gonna do like through granola bars and stuff in the, in the smaller size too. Uh, I think we have a small amount of quinoa crisp left. Just some of the epic meat stuff is here that's been there. Uh, what we restocked on the biltong and meat end of things is the Oyoba Drower's Beef Sticks. You guys like these a lot. You bought a lot of them. So we have the, I think, four ounce and two ounce available. Plenty of those. Yeah, for the artisanal stuff, we also restock some of the raw honeys, the wildflower honey and the orange honey. Over here on the foods, I got to place a small order to restock a few things, but I think we have everything. I just want to show you guys we got a few more of that artisanal barley malt vinegar over here on the table we have a secret business prototype that you guys may never know about i don't know uh, but that artisanal vendor sold uh balsamic vinegar aceto balsamico traditional of modern this is i think the most expensive one they have my cost of it was over a hundred dollars so i think uh i think that this retail would be crazy that's why it comes in a nice box with a freaking pamphlet this bottle was over, it's over, it's cost more than a dollar per milliliter, dude. Balsamico Traditional di Modena. Extra Vecchio. Uh, it's in Italian, so real, real legit stuff. Yeah, this is like, uh, this is like super DOP stuff. This is like, I'm, I'm guessing, I think this is over 25 years aged. So this is just something really special you would put on a steak. Um... I don't know if you guys would want this. I'm, that's why I, I got it. I wanted to show you guys and ask you guys if you if you wanted this. I bought this for myself as like a little birthday present. Um, maybe have it on some steaks. But this is this is something really really special. This is not like um, you know this is not like a everyday put it on your steak sort of thing. So again, let me know if you guys in the comments if any of you guys would buy this as a gift. I'll probably do like a non-standard markup. You know, because if I have to pay like 100 bucks for this, I would sell for maybe 150 You know, most companies would probably sell for $200. i will have to see. I'll have to see on that. It's a really niche thing. It, it, it would be just to do some special stuff. What I'm also really excited about is I'm in touch with uh, another Iberical pork vendor. And we might be getting like some of the charcuterie and ham and like dried pork goods. But um, we'll have to see. That should be, that might be in a few more weeks. A few more weeks. On the uh, Wi-Fi shielding. Frankie's natural stuff, organ supplements, pretty much everything's the same. Uh, I was thinking about doing a multivitamin on organ supplements. Guys, I'm actually going to go broke. I, I'm saying all this stuff. I might not be able to do it because uh, I have to pay the tax bill and I have to pay the, um, the, the flood insurance. And yeah, guys, the surgery was expensive, but it's on a line of credit, so I'm not, I didn't actually have to pay for it. Like I'm just paying like a small amount monthly off of so in regards to just hemorrhaging money on the business in general. Might be in a tight spot. Yeah, taxes and flood insurance at the end of the year bang me up. And the, the, the other thing is like these Amish people, like they're making me pay them when I told them I could pay them next year. They're like, oh, I need the money. Like I'm gonna go give them a piece of my mind on Wednesday. We're gonna see the Amish on Wednesday, but uh, today is just gonna be a little update video. So let me stop complaining. My guys just cleaned everything up in here, so not much going on. It is Sunday. I don't know if I said it is Sunday. We have some eggs ready, packed up to go. Ship out first thing Monday. Still have way too much butter. I think we're gonna give the butter away again. Guys, I've been giving away like $2,000 worth of butter a week. I'm a complete moron from a business perspective. Uh, is this more butter? Dude, I'm gonna have a stroke. Oh my God. Yeah, we switched from putting the butter in the, with the vacuum seal. We have a lid on it now, so you guys can close it. I don't know why they weren't putting a lid on it, but this is all the fresh dairy that's shipping out tomorrow, Monday. We got plenty of milk, plenty of kefir, a282 cream cheese, cottage cheese, everything guys. All the dairy is in stock for the most part. 
Eggs just shipped in fresh. These are the fresh duck eggs that came in this week. And we got, I think we have way too many chicken eggs, actually. So guys, please buy chicken eggs. Yeah, I might have committed to, to kind of more eggs and dairy and stuff than I should have, but we'll have to see how, how the next, uh, how the next week or two goes. Do you guys, I mean, you guys really help me out if you're buying the eggs because if I, if I start getting backed up like a pound or two, I'm gonna have to tell the egg farmer to chill out for two or three weeks, which is not good on his part, but I don't, I don't really have a choice at this point. It's like I'm trying to help people, like, I'm trying to help them by trying to sell them more eggs. I'm trying to help them by, you know, taking all that butter and stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm not making money. And I, I don't really care about money, but I know that like, if I'm able to actually have some profit, I always put it right back into the business to offer you guys new products. And if, and if I can't do that, then I'm kind of like demotivated and stuff and it's just no potential for growth. So, uh, yeah, no, because I, I really want to get you guys, like, I want to do stuff like fresh beef every week. I want to get like more varieties of hot dogs and sausages. I want to do a lot more stuff on the meat end of things. Ultimately, the more you guys support me, the more I'm going to be able to offer you more products and even make things affordable. And I can guarantee you, and I've proven that I'm the only guy online that will do that because everyone else just keeps they keep raising and raising and raising their prices from inflation and you guys that pay attention to my website will see that like one week i'll sell ground beef for nine dollars a pound and the next week it'll be down to seven so i'm like 100 percent sure i'm one of the only people especially in the meat business online that actually lower their prices um like and don't just increase them we got a few restocks this week i'll try to remember all of them ribeye back in stock i'm actually going to take one of these home with me over here we got a few of the large beef shanks left i think we ran out of the one pound ones this is all the ground chicken breast i think my guys uh moved a lot of chicken over to this corner now but we have so much corn and soy free chicken at the lowest price online for you guys way too much chicken someone help me please I restocked a few of the Wagyu products. Uh, the Wagyu Picanha is back in stock. Uh, same with the Wagyu sirloin, which I like because, you know, we can sell Wagyu steaks for like $20 a pound, which is kind of crazy. Um, like the New York strips and the ribeyes are a bit more expensive, but the sirloin and the Picanha are pretty affordable. Yeah, we restocked uh, a lot of Wagyu steaks. Yeah, you guys have been buying all the best burger blend. We just restocked some this week. It's basically ground ribeye. I think I'm only charging $11 a pound for it because I'm an idiot and like losing money. And when I say that I'm dead serious, like I'm actually losing money, it's not a joke. But I'm not homeless here, so go figure. I did want to show you guys, we got the lamb fat back in stock. My guys really stack it this high, yeah. So we got a lot of three pound lamb fat back available against my better judgment because I will speak about the lamb fat buyers when we're reading the reviews. <laughs> I will. So we have a lot of turkey parts here, like uh, uh, the turkey breast. Uh, we're kind of slicing this deli meat now, so that's selling just fine. Uh, we're gonna take those turkeys down. Uh, those are, I think, the larger turkeys, and we're gonna do the one, buy one, get one free giveaway. And then those are the smaller turkeys that will actually just keep a few to sell in case you guys do want turkeys through the early next year. All right, let me get out of here. I'm pretty sure working in a commercial freezer is against doctor's orders. And I'm just joking. I don't see how being in the cold, I mean, because he does ask you to ice your face. So technically I, I just iced my face for uh, five minutes. That was a few restocks, guys. The main things are lamb fat, regular ribeye, and we restocked a few of the Wagyu items. The Wagyu Picanha, Wagyu Sirloin, and Wagyu Ribeye. I might have said that twice. So, um, this week, we're also getting in another meat shipment uh, to restock some stuff. Uh, if you guys didn't get your order this week, you order, uh, last, if you guys didn't get your order last week because you ordered truck steak, I apologize, you ran out. We're gonna try to get it in as soon as possible, first thing Monday, and send those orders out. So there's a slight delay on people that order truck steak. And we should be getting a few other things restocked early this week. Maybe I can get some brain cells because who the fuck would volunteer for surgery like that? 
you know it's funny because like my vision's kind of blurry and foggy still and it's so blur it's like so rainy and foggy out today i'm just confused i'm just confused i can't see fucking anything so yeah this vlog wasn't like the other ones we've been doing lately obviously because like i just got back uh last saturday night from california I just wanted to film like a quick update vlog, let you guys know what's going on, what the main things to look for this week are. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that buy one, get one free turkey thing situated by the middle of this week. So you guys can order them next week before Christmas and New Year's in case you wanna have a turkey for that. We'll see how the buy one, get one free turkey thing goes. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, we're gonna continue to give away the free butter. And I don't have them here today. I thought they came already. But we're gonna have we have gift cards available on the website i finally bought like these nice little gift cards you can buy for your family uh you just place the order let us know if you want a custom gift card code i'm going to send you the gift card in a nice envelope uh, for the amount you want uh, please do not apply the discount code on the gift card because they can apply the discount code when they go to check out again so um, those are available now and i will show you guys what the well you can see what they look like on the website but um, I have a freaking stake in my pocket. Uh, I'm looking for my phone. Uh, you guys can see what the cards look like on the website right now. But I just wanted to show you in person. But and and again, there's there's a night there's like an envelope I'm sending with them, so you don't have to buy an envelope. So you're gonna get the gift card, an envelope, and then um, and then it's gonna come in like a pamphlet. So after you place that gift card order. You're going to receive a physical copy of the gift card in the mail to send to your loved one or a friend or brother or a young kid if you want them. If you, yeah, you got to get these kids started early, bro. Start giving these kids at baby showers, Frankie Strange me gift cards, so they don't have to spend half, like their entire year's salary on getting eye surgery when they're 30 years old to look normal. Like, it's fucking, it's a fucking good idea, bro. Just get those kids on some steak. All right, so if you guys want some entertainment, now we have about 20 reviews to read. Uh, no exaggeration, about 20. I'll probably be brief for most of them. Five star review for the duck eggs. Excellent duck eggs from amazing price. They arrived both times in perfect condition via FedEx and arrived in only a week from across the country. Only complaint is customer service isn't that great to the poor communication and thoroughly addressing your concern. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. I'm not Amazon. I'm one freaking guy down here. Amazon probably spends more on their bathroom urinals in one of their buildings than all my entire business is worth combined. So, and, but hey, look, you guys can go see how Amazon treats their workers. It's basically, a, it, it's not basically, it's a sweatshop, dude. It's a sweatshop. So, look, like, if you, if you, it's, look, so, look, some of you guys are placing orders and email me the next day, where's my eggs? Like, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to your house and throw eggs at you. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. Okay. Five star review for the product pork share. Pork pork pork. Unbelievable quality pork for the price. 100% wool purchase again. Highly recommend giving this a shot. Sixty dollars for this much pork is nearly giving it away. Well, thanks, Frankie Boy. I am underappreciated to say the least. I am I am doing God's work. Is an understatement. It's it's ridiculous. I'm selling that pork. I, I guarantee you go on any other website online. You can't even find similar quality pork. You probably couldn't even find milk-fed corn and soy-free pork that tastes that good, that's that fresh, freaking anywhere. And those people are charging twice as much for less qual for lesser quality pork than I am. But five-star view for aggressive ribeye steak. So far, it's perfect. Started by from Frankie a month ago. Every product I love: steak, chicken, organ meats, fermented veggies, chips. All met my expectations, and I am a good cook. I have invited me from other websites and very happy to find Frankie set prices fair too. Thank you. Also made uh, best gravy this year thanks to your recipe on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I wish things were going better and I'd have more time to do recipes and stuff I used to do. But I'm glad you guys uh, appreciate it. It's just, I, I mean, there's probably hundreds and hundreds of cooking recipes on my YouTube. You guys can search for. I, I, at this point, I don't think I have the, the the mental fortitude to go through all my videos and organize them into playlists. Five star review for the organic raw cookie dough. Frankie gets it right again. I couldn't make better cookies if I tried. Classic taste and very buttery and chocolatey. I'm surprised those didn't sell out. We sold most of them though. We sold most of them. Just that's a great that's a great gift, guys. Those you you give someone you give anyone those chocolate chip cookies, they're gonna have sex with you right after. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll be appropriate today. 
But if you give anyone those chocolate chip cookies, that's something very special. Those are going to be like the best cookies they've ever had. Kind of a weird gift, I guess, for a cookie dough, but... Another five-star view for the pork share. Awesome quality. Really good quality pork and super cheap for the price. Wishing you good luck in finding a Latino one. <laughs> Maybe I gotta stop making jokes on here because you guys, uh, you guys, clearly if a Latina woman was anywhere in my priorities, I would probably have one by now instead of losing my mind in this godforsaken abandoned grocery store. Another five-star view for the organic raw cookie dough. Delicious, delicious cookies, best cookie recipe. We got a five-star review for the pasture-raised turkey drumstick. Cooking instructions. Season with Frankie seasoning and wrap it tightly in foil. Bro, foil? You mentioned foil on my YouTube channel. You better be careful. Set oven to the lowest temperature possible or find some similar way to slow cook for several hours overnight. Let rest. Unwrap and boil to taste. I could eat this forever. Oh, I'm glad you like the... I'm glad you like the turkey with the side of aluminum. Uh, five-star review for the grass-fed beef tripe stomach. Amazing product. As someone who ate this all the time at dim sum, I'm glad that someone is selling grass-fed beef tripe that is untreated with bleach. I love throwing this in my ox so Yeah, there's no bleach on it. It's clean. Uh, it took us a while to get that. Guys. We've been, been doing this for four years, and we finally got beef tripe this year. So we finally found one. Uh, this is something different. Someone like someone emailed me concerned because they got like an email their package was delayed, and then. The package was held over the weekend. So the package was shipped like Wednesday or Thursday, Tuesday or something. It was held over the weekend to California. They got the package on Monday, like five or six days later. I was happily surprised to find it frozen solid. So guys, we put a lot of ice in those boxes. We haven't had any perishable issues for a while. Which is probably bad because I'm hemorrhaging money on ice bar. You guys are so great. I just want to thank you. I will leave as many reviews as I can. There is nowhere else I can find no corner soy for chicken. I ordered a turkey from you guys and it was the best turkey we have ever had on Thanksgiving. I appreciate that and I am helping support an Amish farm as well. Everything arrives on time, frozen through and delicious. Thank you again. Yep, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the products. Despite me going broke doing it. Five star view for the eggs. Great eggs, so healthy. You can't buy anything like this anywhere else, even better than the local farm eggs. Five star view for pasture raised chicken eggs, another review for the eggs. Best eggs, hands down. Only place we're able to find 100% pasture corn and soy free eggs. Guys, please buy the eggs. I got too many in the fridge. I'm gonna lose my mind. Five star view for the organic Jardiniera lacto fermented. Wow, thank you, Frank, for making this. It is amazing. So tasty, in fact, that I just ordered another three jars of the stuff. Don't change the recipe, keep it just like this. We have a lot of that. I don't know if we're gonna make it again, though. Not as popular as the pickles, which we are making more of. Five star view for the duck eggs. Exceptional. Large and in charge. These bad boys are extremely tasty and filling. 10 out of 10. You know, for the thing about duck eggs, and I've told you guys a few times, they're larger, but they're more expensive. But for the price, it's actually cheaper per calorie than chicken eggs. So keep that in mind. Oh, here's, here's the good stuff, guys. Here's the good stuff. Our charge back was open for order number, whatever number. So this guy, Bradley, orders freaking, let me just make sure it's the right guy before I start trash talking him. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is hilarious to me. This guy, Bradley, orders 20 lamb fat. And anytime someone orders lamb fat, for some reason, when people only buy fat from me, they're always a problematic customer. I don't know what it is about these people eating fat, but it's not only fat, but there's something wrong with their brains. So this guy orders 20 grass-fed lamb fat, Files a charge back, but the funniest freaking thing was, <laughs> the funniest thing was, and I attached the picture here, I'll show you guys. The picture of the box outside his house, there is defund Israel spray painted on the wall. So <laughs> this guy orders 20 pounds of land fat, files a charge back, and has defund Israel painted on his wall. I can't, dude. I can't. These lamb fat customers, if you guys buy lamb fat and there's any, it, you, you complain, you even dare send me an email after ordering only lamb fat, you're not even getting a response. I am dead serious. I'm dead serious at this point. I've had so many issues with these lamb fat customers that I don't even respond to them anymore. There's something wrong with you guys. You can look at and, and you know why I can trash talk them? Because I'm the old guy selling lamb fat at a reasonable price online, so too bad. You're going to have to deal with it. You buy the land fat, it's coming, that's it. But you file a chargeback, 
I'm going to show your name and where you are. Like, this is ridiculous. I got a whole, guys, for any of you guys that have charged back me in the past three years, don't worry, I still got you on a list. I have you on a list. <laughs> we're going to figure out what we're going to do with you guys. Don't worry. Very soon, uh, this is a little different. Five star view for the activated charcoal on organ supplements. Headache, charcoal. Wait, he's, no, first he says, I always have charcoal on me. Headache, charcoal, digestive distress, charcoal. Ate something with yucky ingredients, charcoal. Got a speeding ticket, charcoal. <laughs> going through a roof, going through a rough breakup, charcoal. <laughs> okay, teasing about the last two, but I really do use these for all kinds of issues and bring them with me everywhere. Yeah, I've been, I use like one charcoal pill every meal myself. Then we got a five star view for the product Mastic Gum Capsules. These are awesome. I feel that they change how my digestion feels even better than grinding up the powder and taking that again. Yeah. Um, the, pa the capsules are a bit easier on your stomach. I still like taking the powder because I like being on the toilet half the day, but the capsules are definitely more forgiving on your stomach than the powder to run up. Now we have a review for the beef barley stew, five star review. Best barley soup I've ever had. It was delicious. It is as homemade as you can find, thick, well seasoned. Just wish it was in a larger container. Okay, Miss Piggy. Okay, we'll make you a 32 ounce jar so you can uh, get on. What's that fat show called? My 400 pound life? As a guy, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a little, I don't like waiting for the eyes thing to recover. I don't know what my eyes are gonna look like. So my frustration is, is being vented out and elsewhere. Five star view for the pasteurized chicken eggs. Red aren't, real orange yolks, great taste. Was hesitant as people were saying a lot of broken eggs. No, no one said that. We've never shipped a broken egg in our lives. But with new packaging, I think they solved that issue. Don't know what you're talking about. If you, got, if you guys have broken eggs, I don't know why you would even complain about that. Because if you get broken eggs and you email us, we instantly refund you. And oh, about the thing earlier, like about people placing the wrong address to order. If customers have ever had any issue with any product legitimately and they send me photos, I always instantly issue a refund. It's just there's, there, there are a large amount of people that just try to blatantly take advantage of me. And I have to recognize those people and they file chargebacks, and it's just completely ridiculous. They order $300 worth of grass-fed ribeye from a cow that I killed myself, uh, watching it eat the fucking grass, and then email me saying, oh no, this isn't grass-fed because it's not labeled 100% grass-fed pasture, and then they'll file, it's just nonsense. Um, we'll talk about those people in a whole separate video. What was I gonna say about them? Oh no, the, the, the important point is those people maliciously placed an order. They placed an order with the intention of committing fraud against my business. That's the main, the key, key words there. Key words there. They never intended on being a customer. They have never ten, intended on buying my products. They're being hired by some type of outside source to harass my business. And it's been going on for a few years now. Haven't really talked about it, but I figured I'd get shadow banned further, but it's not stopping, so. Five star view for the A2A2 Fresh Farm Butter. Unsalted for you raw tarts. A2 products, oh boy, great products. Have a family member that is very intolerant of commonly available milk products and the proteins. We try this A2 butter, it has a slightly less sweet flavor, almost like a very mild cheese. I now have an A2 addict on my hands, looking for milk, sour cream, butter, yogurt, various cheeses, coffee creamer. Strong buy recommendations. Strong buy recommendations. What are you trading stocks? I'm selling butter, dude. Hope lots of customers will eventually result in higher demand, better availability, and lower cost. If you guys want lower cost, spend as much money as possible on my business, and hopefully I can afford a farm in a few years. Uh, separate point, USDA denied my loan application because I don't have enough, I don't have, they said I don't have farming experience, but I have like business, I figured the business experience was fine because I'm operating a competent business. But USDA said no go on the loan, and the, that's important because their loan interest rate is 5%. And the, the other loan interest rates are like 8 or 9%. I can't, I can't afford the 8 or 9% loan payment. So I don't know what's going to happen with the farm. It might not happen this spring. So I have an excuse to, to bugger off somewhere and, and do something else. Because I've almost had enough of this. You know what I should have done? I should, I should have got more plastic surgery and pretended to be someone else and started a new YouTube channel. But too late for that. We already revealed ourselves. Five star review for the grass fed beef tripe, another review for the tripe. Excellent. This tripe is wonderful. I always clean tripe. And I must say, this tripe was clean. No residue or particles. 
I made my Italian grandmother's recipe for me and my 95 year old dad. Delicious. I recommend this product from Mobile. I'm glad your, your father's still doing well at 95. That's very sweet. Five star review for the organic dill. How? Do I, am I still rolling? Yo, guys, this is, this is 40 minutes. My vision's blurry. I don't feel good. My head hurts. I'm complaining like a little sissy. Just like, like, share the video, buy my shit, because this is gonna take me, I'm gonna be staring at my fucking computer for two hours later editing this. Organic garlic dill pickles, lacto fermented five star review. Best pickles I've ever had. Hands down, the best pickles plus a strong probiotic content. You literally can't beat it. Thanks, Frankie. I hope you guys are telling the truth. I, look, I'm not much of a pickles guy. I've never really had pickles. Mine tasted pretty good to me, but I'm, I'm happy that someone who, who does know pickles likes them a lot. Our last review, guys. Ah, finally, he's done talking. Five star beef for grass with beef and bone broth. I like what you did here, Frankie. It tastes like a tender home cooked beef stew that pairs well with the accompaniment of rice or potatoes. We ran out of that, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to make some more earlier this week and have it back for you. Um, but thankfully, thankfully, that's all 20 reviews. Um, kind of just wanted to, I mean, I could have, I should have left a few for, uh, I should have left a few for, for next week, but I don't really care. The only thing I was saying earlier about the supplements, like I was thinking about doing a, a multivitamin or multi-mineral supplement, where like, it wouldn't really, t you're, you guys aren't really my target audience, uh, because like, it's, it's always better to have the individual vitamins and minerals and take them and figure out what you're deficient in, but the benefit of having like a multivitamin or multi-mineral complex that has every single thing in it, like 20 things in the correct ratios that no one else has done, is like it's an approachable thing for uh, normies or your parents or your family members. You don't have to explain to them each of the 20 minerals you need to, uh, well, each of the eight minerals you need to take, or each of the you know the nine B vitamins you have to take. You don't have to go. Oh, you need to do it. You just give them two bottles or one bottle, whatever I decide to do the multivitamin. Okay, you take this for a month or two. You see how much better you feel, and then you can introduce something. I don't know. I might do it. I'm gonna get a price on it. We might do it. I don't know. I'll be sleeping in here then. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As usual, hopefully I start looking and feeling better in a few weeks or a few months. And uh, it was like this never happened. So, you know, as I kind of said throughout this video, you know, if you guys continue to support us, you know, money, money is going in the hands of the right people. I mean, I, I have more integrity than most of these Amish people that I've met with. But uh, the point is, Hopefully it's not much longer guys. Hopefully you, you know you guys continue to support us You know through through early this next year, and then hopefully when we get things set up better either a farm or a processing plant then uh, Then it's like it's like a safety net, you know, then we're 100% good to go. We're okay, but for now it's a little volatile so uh, I'm gonna go finish up a little bit of work this week should be kind of relaxed uh, but I'll, I'll save that stuff for the next vlog. So this is this is being filmed on Sunday. I'm bringing this to you guys on Tuesday because we did something a little special yesterday, and um, and then what I'm going to do next week is just do the same thing we used to do. Just film a, a few minutes every day, show you guys a little bit of what's going on, and announce things and show you guys stuff. But any comments or concerns, please let me know. Uh, any emails, anything you guys have. I've not, I've not responded, just please let me, I'm trying to catch up on some stuff. Uh, but that's going to be it. Uh, so again, thank you guys for joining me. FrankieStrangeMeat.com, FrankieStrangeFoods.com. I'll list the others, but you can go to frank to see organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Everything is condensed into one place. And if uh, I continue, I'll probably have three more businesses by next year, and I'll really be losing it. Uh, a few ideas here and there for sure but i will see you guys for we'll do uh we'll do a surgery vlog on thursday surgery vlog is going to be posted thursday if you guys are curious about that uh, and then we'll do another vlog next week i'm not sure i'm not sure um i'll talk about that in the well, i didn't talk about that in the surgery vlog i'll I'll, I'll probably mention that in the in the giveaway video how much I'm going to be filming moving forward.